Anyway, this guy repeat he preaches repent of your sins. He preaches to be saved, you have to repent of your sins. Show me in the Bible where it says repent of your sins. He adds the magical word of your sins. The Bible says repent. So you want you want you want you want a platform? Repent. Sir, you want a platform? Hey, I you can preach too, here. can I? You I gotta can. rebuke you, you're a false prophet. <laughs> this guy comes and preaches damnable heresy that'll send you. Welcome, my friends, to another Wolf Watch episode. As you can see from the opening clip, we're going to be talking about <laughs> David Lynn, who is now an apostle. Go figure. Another apostle. In that opening clip, you saw, you know, a gentleman on the street, you know, preaching. Uh, I'm assuming he's a genuine Christian. Uh, rebuking uh, David Lynn because David Lynn teaches that you must repent of your sins. He adds of your sins to repentance, uh, changing the gospel altogether. You got to stop doing this. You got to stop doing that, you know, that type of thing. And, um, you know, th this this preacher uh, was telling him, no, it's not repent of your sins. It's repent. Change your mind, you know. And, of course, uh, David Lynn is there with his microphone, you know, not letting the guy, uh, you know, really talk. Um, and besides, he has the microphone, so he could over talk him, right? But, yeah, so before we continue, though, I want to show you another clip of David Lynn uh, you know, calling himself an apostle. And, and, you know, I want you to notice the focus on what he's saying. It's all about him, not God, not the word. It's all about David Lynn. Roll it. When I give instruction and counsel, you think I'm saying things out of the whim of my own breath? If God is going to bring me into the prophetic, but all you're doing is looking at Pastor David and looking at the leaders, oh, who are they? You're not going to receive the blessing. How are you going to be intimate with me? I don't want to waste my time. I'm a pastor. I'm a teacher. I'm a preacher. The call that God had on my life was to be an apostle. Hallelujah. What the hell did you just say? I'm a pastor. I'm a teacher. I'm a preacher. The call that God had on my life was to be an apostle. Hallelujah. Disappointed! Hallelujah. Whether you like that word or not, I don't care. Whether you like that word or not, I don't care. Because my life has testified of what I do. The fruit is right in front of your face. Wait a minute. Who are you? All right, all right. Enough, enough of that, right? First of all, he can't be an apostle. I'll tell you why. In Acts chapter 1... Verse 22, and this is the requirements for an apostle. Beginning from the baptism of John unto that same day that he was taken up from us, must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his re resurrection. Unless David Lynn is 2,000 plus years old, he was not an eyewitness to Jesus Christ. He, he didn't know any of the true apostles. He didn't walk with them. He didn't witness anything. Okay? So he's not an apostle. So, my, my friends, you know, and listen, let's not even go into pride. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty heart before the fall. Mark and avoid this false apostle, David Lynn. Matter of fact, I'll read one more before uh, <laughs> we uh, uh, conclude this. All right, in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 13 to 15, it says this, For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. That's David Lynn. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers, David Lynn, also be transformed, also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. So, my friends, you heard it from the word of God. 
You can't be an apostle unless you were an eyewitness of Jesus Christ, his life, his death, his resurrection, you know, witness with the, the original apostles. You can't be one today. So as we can see here, we can biblically, biblically call David Lynn a false apostle. Mark and avoid him. Until next time, my friends, look up. Our redemption draws near. Maranatha and God bless.